All right, let's see what's next. Oh, great, exalted Crotus. We brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when you're spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to absolutely be honest with us. We x knots are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. <clears throat> Rodus, sir, I have news. I report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooked Ale had? Well, somebody nabbed it. What? What do you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And they defeated that Hookdale creature, you say? Speak, soldier! Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's two more through. See, according to the report, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario. Excuse me? Mario? Oh, no. Gra ga 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 I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before that long. That I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And take good care of Princess Peach, understand? She is not to be harmed. You've got it, sir. Well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll show up where the where we're hunting hunting for a crystal star, Boggly Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten their search. It must not fail. Was that? Oh, yes, yeah, sure, Roger Grotus. And with that, pow! I'm gone. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He's a bit out there. I summon you, ex -nut. You rang, dude? I mean, sir? You rang Sir Grotus, sir. Grotus! Sir Grotus, sir! Shut up. Go get the three shadows over here. The three sh shadows, sir. But they... I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get him now. Gotcha. Uh, we'll grow us as need of us. Then we arrive without delay. Pray tell. Did the princess tell you where the map is? It seems some fool named Mario is now has possession of the map. This wouldn't have happened if you had kidnapped Princess Peach when you were supposed to. It wasn't my fault, truly. The town square had too many prying eyes. Too many eyes. She was soon joined by some old fool of an attendant. Such a fussy fungus. Worry not. All we need to do is find this Mario and steal the map. Yes. Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you, that map is vital to the x not plan. We'll have my men prepare all available information on this, Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. You three shadows must take care of this troublemaker. We... Fair not, sire. I, Beldum, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come. We've got a job to do. Oh dear, here we go again. 
I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Everyone must be worried sick again. Right, hang on a moment. Where in the world am I? Anyway, it's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario know that I've been caught. Well, you probably can, Peach. You probably can. I wonder if it works. <laughs> How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. Not opening. <clears throat> what was that? Hey, how odd. The doors open by themselves. Or it could have been a delayed reaction. Peach, ever thought of that? Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. Or is there? How do I keep making those doors open? How odd. Maybe by stepping on that pod, the doors open. Hello, Princess Peach. <laughs> what? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here before your eyes. I am the laboratory's main computer. I am TexXX, but many people call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus? Wait, he's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt it'll change your mind. So I'm wondering, why did you lead me here? An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you just after you were brought here. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs. And the solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion is no precedence. Case and cause unknown. I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you say you want to observe me? <clears throat> no more about me? Could it be that you... No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. It really... It was just too weird. Please tell me. Please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should be not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe. Is it possible that, well, you're in love? With me? Of what is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Of how do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel just happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when that person is in trouble. Happiness. Fun. I have definitions for those words, but... My programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend? Love? Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? Hmm? You're a computer. Why would you care about love? 
I am perfect. There must be nothing I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love, please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. Or if I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. I cannot believe this. You ex-jerks kidnapped me before I could even begin to enjoy my vacation. And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. And I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why. If you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator. Send wireless mail if to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard? All right, the shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? Message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Hey, then, good night. Good night, Princess Peach. Ra ha ha ha! Bowser, the mighty Koopa King has arrived. Hold your applause, minions! But now that I'm here, Cammy, you crusty old egg, why did you summon me? Uh, great Lord Bowser, the crusty egg Cammy Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. Ah, Lord Bowser! I've just now returned. I am terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kami Koopa. Now, out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. And am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh! <laughs> yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. Treasure? Yes, Mario has gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them. Yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser... Do you like fried eggs? Hmm. I don't know. Does, does he like fried eggs? Uh, let's see. What is the answer to this? Does he have an answer? Does he have an answer? Let's find out. <laughs> 
it. Whoops. Hold on, folks. Ah, uh, you bet I do. You I. I love fried egg. Love them. But what a, what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario Recon, I stopped in a place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. <laughs> a picnic? Get serious. This is no time for fun. See, this is why my evil plans always derail. Because you clods always goof off. Here. Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure. What's that? <clears throat> Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport. Huh, what? Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How? When? Where? Who do such a thing besides me? I am afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The inf investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. <laughs> Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I go I'm going to Rogueport now. I've got to kidnap her back. Your grunginess, wait up! <laughs> Coops, my lad. Are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Now, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm going to come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. Now, always remember this. You are my son, and I am your father. Koops, my sweet, I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. May I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Koops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewell. So, where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand-year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. And it didn't stop there. Each stone of yesterday shall shine and point towards next in line. That's what the books say. Which means, if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand year door. So, that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on that magic map. Yeah, exactly. Come on, let's go. We found a crystal star, but we didn't find any sign of Princess Peach. Where do you think she is? I sure hope she's okay. Something wrong? I'm shaking. Are you feeling all right? My dearest Mara, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I am being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent to you earlier. They may be hoping to use it in find objects they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know where what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. They may be aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please do not worry about me. 
Wow, you got mail from a princess. That's so cool. So, anyway, sounds like she's unhurt. That's good, at least. But I don't like the sound of those kidnappers looking for the crystal stars. We should head back to Rogueport, where you started, and begin the search for the next crystal star. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm not going to try to do any more battles on the way back. No, we've, we've had our share. Oh, oh we, now we got to do one. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll do it. Okay, this one won't take long. All right. Okay, keep going. Keep going over. Keep going. All right. Here's the way back. Oops. Okay, I got a little hasty there. There we go. Where does this lead? Did we go through this pipe? Oh, we already went through this pipe. Go back. No, 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 no. Well, hey, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. What a coinky dink. What am I up to? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. Oh, that's a bad scene. All right, she's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. Now, I met with someone from Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. It was a pretty, very intense, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. Well, like, it's a really long story, but here it goes. My big brother, that's you, got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind as usual. I was cooking a snack. When, when another letter arrived. We don't get much mail, so I was thinking, huh? That is what the letter said. Uh, sir, my name is Craig. I am a cabinet minister in the far-off Waffle Kingdom. Let's see. I uh, beg your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt response, sir. Sincerely, Crepe. Well, I don't remember exactly, but I think it went something like that. Well, that is you. Bro gone. It felt to me to answer this plea. Hesitating only a tinsy bit. I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh, no. 
I first wrote a note to myself about what happened. I was cooking, then I left. Then I reached the Waffle Kingdom. I met Minister Creep, who filled me in. The Ch Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess A. Claire and vanished. Apparently, some oracle had a marvelous compass to locate her. This marvelous compass had been broken into several parts by an ancient curse. And those parts have been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Each part of the marvelous compass was said to point to the next. And since one of the parts was embedded in the tiara worn by the princess, I surmised that once I collected all the parts, I'd find her. Smart, huh? The minister gave me the compass based smoking in waffle fables. When it activated, the entire thing lit right up, indicating the deep south. It was pointing me towards Brumple Bump Volcano on the Pudding Continent. So yeah, here I am. I'm sailing out of Rogueport for Rumble Bump Volcano. It's probably gone. It's gonna be pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue that princess. Okay, okay. Uh, no, not not really. Oh, okay. All right. Well, the interesting story, Luigi. But we gotta move along. All right, let's see. Let's... Well, okay, I know we can break through here, but we'll see that we'll we'll get through there. We'll, we'll go through there another time. Right now, I just, uh, right now, I just want to uh, get the crystal star in the proper place. All right, Mario, hold up that crystal star. Okay, what just revealed it must be where we're going next. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Hey, all right, look there. The next crystal star showed up on the map. But I'm sorry, but I don't have a clue where that is. I think maybe we should take it to Professor Franklin and let him look at it. I see. Crystal clear. 
so you can tell us where the next crystal star is or not. It's in the Bogley Woods. The second crystal star is inside a great tree there. A great tree in the Bogley Woods, huh? About those woods. I think some odd creature lives there. If memory serves. There's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. Professor Frankly, you should probably know. It's about Princess Peach. Mr. Mario got an email from her recently. Her Highness said that the guys who kidnapped her are also hunting crystal stars. Oh, and she said she doesn't even know where she's being held. Yeah. If Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the crystal stars, what could they help to achieve? Could the treasure be too many unknowns? Actually, the only clues we can rely on are the crystal stars and that map. And I guess all we can do is head to Bogley Woods to find that next crystal star. Yes, I recommend you do just that. Try to find it for the princess's captors. Whatever their ultimate goal is, it can't be good. But they don't be too hasty. If you're low on items and health, drop by the shop and in first. I'll keep researching to learn more about the crystal stars and the ancient treasure. All right. Thank you for that, Professor Frankly. All right, but it is time to stop for today. All right, until next time, this is Gold League Gamer 1. Later, folks.